Yannick, I guess, first of all, welcome back to Wigan Athletic. It must be great to have finally signed permanently. Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, didn't uh, take a while, I think, just a week uh, when I left. So, yeah, it's good to be back again. Uh, everybody was uh, happy for me that I um, that I stayed, and uh, good. so it's good to be back, yeah. The usual question to, to a player coming in is, is why have you signed for Wigan? But it's pretty obvious why you've signed for Wigan. Yeah, the last three months uh, for me personally were really good. I got, I got to play again. I think, I think I did well. And when I heard the club uh, wanted to sign me on a permanent deal, uh, yeah, it was good to hear and I was like, OK, make it happen. And um, so, uh, yeah, it was good uh, that everything uh, came through. When you first arrived, did you envisage this happening, coming here permanently? Well, you hope because you go to a club um, and if you do well and yeah, they sign you. But that uh, that this was going to happen in the three months I stayed and I've been here. Uh, no, I didn't expect that, but I think it's good uh, and uh, happy to be here. So I think I uh, deserved it my, on my own and... Uh, with a little help of the teammates and everybody here, of course, and so yeah, it's good to be back. How quickly did you settle in when you first came here? Because it seemed like you, you settled in straight away. Uh, yeah, I remember the first day when I came in. The, I was a little bit early because as a new player, um, you have to be early, and it was like, oh, hello, hello. hello. I think I introduced myself twice to the same person. <laughs> But it's only the first day and then when the game uh, comes you start to get a few names. But I think after the, I think it was Walsall at home, I think everybody welcomed me really good and the lads are all good. So it was didn't really take long to settle in and um, yeah, so uh, all good. It didn't take long for you to become a, a fan favourite either as, as soon as you picked the ball up on the wing against Walsall, the, the fans were off, off the chairs and on their feet. Yeah, I think it's just my uh, type of game. Um, uh, on, my, on the left wing, I just uh, make uh, actions, hope uh, to make things happen. And um, yeah, the supporters obviously liked it. And um, yeah, I just hope I can continue with uh, for the uh, yeah for the rest of the season and longer. You've had great support from them, and, and they've tried to influence you in coming here on on Twitter and on the other social media. That must be a great thing to see as a footballer. Yeah, you just know how much they appreciate uh, yeah, the things you've done for the club. And every day uh, I got uh, messages like, "Yeah, no, are you signing yet? Do we need, do we need to uh, pick you up? Or if you sign, we get you a cheeky Nando's." Or uh, got even the, the videos of uh, Sean Kennedy uh, who were really good. So, yeah, it just made me feel really welcome. And uh, yeah, just got me over not over the edge to come here, but it was an extra boost to sign here and play for them again. Within a couple of games, you had your own song as well. <laughs> yeah, it went really quick. Uh, actually, I can't remember which game it was, but I think somewhere around Peterborough uh, away. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice song, catchy song. You, uh, you remember it quick. But yeah, it just feels good. Even when I was on the bench and they start singing it, or Yannick, we want you to stay. It just make me feel really, really good and gives you gives me like extra boost to uh, to play well and also. Uh, yeah, for them, so I hope they can uh, continue singing it for the Rwama. It's obviously great to get on with the supporters as, as you do and interact with them, but it's what you've done on the pitch that has obviously impressed them the most and, and you made quite a quick start here. Yeah, I think that's where, where it begins. Uh, on the pitch, you have to show uh, what you got. And I came here to play, and um, with my, with my style of play and how we play, I think it just clicked. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, you, you, you earn everything on the pitch. So when I, when you play good games, it's like yeah, and they appreciate it. It, it comes, and I'm uh, really happy it came. And um, I hope um, yeah, it's just the beginning of something uh, beautiful. Amongst your teammates as well, you seem to have made some good friends and, and struck up a, a nice little relationship with Donovan Daniels. Yeah, he's my neighbour and uh, yeah, from the first moment I saw Don, um, yeah, we, we got along uh, really good and same interest and yeah, we live in the same building, so uh, same car school. And um, yeah, but everybody is good, I can go uh, with everybody, but it's just uh, easier that Don lives uh, yeah, just above me. But uh, what I said, everybody was uh, really good from the players to the to the staff or like people who work at the training ground. And it's just a really nice and kind and like family club. And I think that's uh, really important also, like if you want to sign players, like they know they come here and everything is really taken good, taken care of. And yeah, so uh, yeah. This incredible team spirit, as, as we saw on Thursday night against Gillingham, were you watching the game? Were, were you back in Middlesbrough? Or? Yeah, I was in Middlesbrough. I was watching the game on telly and I, in the beginning I was like, <laughs> it's not really uh, 
what, what I expected, but well, we showed character in a few a few games uh, uh, in the beginning of the season. So I, I was I was still uh, hoping that uh, it would turn around and like everybody was working hard. And in the end, when you get like a last minute winner, yeah, it's, uh, everybody I was so happy and I was like, yeah, we really showed everybody like we're still here and we're gonna give it a go now. Is it things like that that influence you to come to a club as well? The fact that the players never give up and, and there's such a great atmosphere around here. Um, yes, I know it's it's good to have it because you see uh, when we go down in uh, when we're in a bad position like two nil down or something and we're able to win. It's good character, but yeah, we don't really need to go in those kind of positions. But um, it just shows everybody just keeps fighting and. Once you score and once the yeah the, the supporters are getting behind the team, you see um, good things can happen. And I just hope we don't make it this uh, exciting or uh, any um, like going down, but just to win like normal the three nails. And <laughs> Speaking of scoring goals, what are your aims for the rest of the season? You you've scored a few goals already. Are you looking to maybe try and hit double figures or? Oh, uh, double figures. Uh, that's a lot. I'm not really like a goal scoring, more like the, the uh, setting goals up. But uh, I got four now in all uh, competitions, and I hope to double it and maybe reach ten somewhere. But um, I don't really set. Yeah, I have goals for myself, but I don't really um, put them in the open because it's just something for myself. And um, but I just get I want to get promotion. That's what everybody wants, and that's the most important thing. And if I can help with that with goals and um, yeah, assist, um, I'm happy.